crucial to his old club's survival. Ransom. Peacock. Kelly. Peacock again. That's awkward. Neil can't clear. But Alan Knight just, just enough and Anderson scoops it away. No prizes for guessing who'll take this. Sheedy. I don't think he's ever hit one harder than that. One good break. That's all Newcastle need. The margins so fine at this stage of the season. Oh, and this could be it because Alan Knight has been penalised for taking too many steps. Well, let's count them. He's had one there. Two, three, four, maybe four and a half. He was a bit unlucky. Sheedy. No way through. Looking for Kill Clyde. Burns just got to it. What's with rocking a bit? Chris Burns virtually cleared the ball out of his own keeper's hands there. O'Brien forcing the ball into Ransom's path. Cross meant for Kelly. Good punch. O'Brien maybe. He had chances. Here comes Alan McLaughlin on the break for Pompey. They can't get to him. Well smothered Tommy Wright. Trans car. Floated towards Peacock. Neil for company. Can he put it back? Not quite. Nothing he can do now. Nothing they can do. Nielsen getting forward. It'll come for Peacock. A couple of yards either side, and maybe Ray Ransom. Kelly couldn't quite reach it. Quinn. Kelly! That'll do! You cannot put a price on that goal from David Kelly. Five short minutes remaining, and David Kelly has come up with the goals that Newcastle needed most has come up with a one they needed most of all. Stoppage time. Steve Wigley made room for the cross. McFarlane's in there. And it just drifted beyond him. And that may just be Portsmouth's last chance to spoil the party. Newcastle are almost there. Right in no hurry at all. There, a whistle away from near safety. How much longer dare the referee wait? That's it! Kevin Keegan has one of the most vital 1-0 wins in his extraordinary career. The jubilation was understandable, but a little premature. David Kelly's late goal had put Newcastle within touching distance of the escape hatch. The news from elsewhere was good. Two points clear of the dropping zone, but both Oxford and Brighton could still get 50 points. It wasn't over, but without David Kelly's goal, it might have been. That's the best goal I've scored for the club, and uh, for it to come five minutes before the end of the game was tremendous. Quinny came on um, a few minutes before, and I think Ray Ransom played it in, and uh, played a one-two in Mick, and just, you know, hit it on the, the half volley, and it, I thought he was going to save it at first, because it was sort of, it was going towards him, but it seemed to, to bend wide, and, you know, it went in.